Evening all, and welcome back to Kerbalism, where we are about to cross over into the moon's sphere of influence. I think that's slowing down because I told it to do so beforehand. Uh, but yeah, we, we have successfully come back. There is a... Uh, cool. Uh, no... Uh, no real problems have come up. We've had a solar panel fail on something somewhere, but it's one of the pros we're not using anymore, so... Okay, there we go. We are now in the moon's sphere of influence. Awesome. So, what we want to do is change our path so we don't crash into Kerbin on the way out. That's definitely not something we want to be doing. That's bad for our health. So, if we slow down, we end up doing something like that. And, uh... We'd come out here and then fall back. I think we'd still be falling that way. Not entirely sure. Uh, let's see, 12 is way too much. Let's uh, put that up to something a little bit decent. We do kind of want to touch the atmosphere, but not a great deal. Let's go down to 60, shall we? Yeah, there we go. And uh, I think that'll probably do. We'll come back to the moon. We'll start falling down again. We will be going this way rather than against that, which is fine. We can land with the with the curb, and it's not a problem. Uh, as I explained in the last episode, if you come in the opposite way, you can get extra slowing down, but meh, doesn't really matter. I think this is just literally going to be a fire the engine. retrograde maybe a little bit off so so let's let's walk down here and go to retrograde and uh we'll probably be yeah it's gonna be a little bit off because we're trying to change our orbits are a bit more level so uh we can come in across the equator Nothing particularly matters how you come in. Um, it's just nicer if you come in via the equator. It's just easier to to manoeuvre, or easier easier to to visualise how it's working. If you come in over the edges, it, it, it's yeah. Right. So let's slow it down there. We need to fire the engine. And uh, hopefully, not have any problems. We've got plenty of munitions left. 14, that's fine. So, go. That is on full. It's not on full thrust. Oh well. Oh well, could have sped that up. In fact, I still can. If we turn that off and then turn that up, it will change everything here. There we go. Let's go a little bit further along. Just so we're not burning for so long. Awesome. Right, and this will put us into a... Uh, a capture of Kerbin. We won't capture the first time. Because uh, we'll be going way too fast. Oh, very it's 52. It's a bit, it's a bit too deep. I'd like to go a bit higher than that if I can, please. I could probably survive it, but I don't want to take any risks. Any risks at all. So, yeah. Right, now we are going to end up being um, in the shadow of the moon for a little while. I don't think that will be a problem. Nope, it's not going to be a problem at all. We'll come straight out of that and... I thought I was right it was going to come down actually in the shadow of of there. There's a little eclipse going on there. Cool, cool. 
Okay, and here we are falling down to Kerbin. Uh, so what I really want to do is um, sort of point the ship at Kerbin. Uh, really, please. Because when we come down that way, we want to have nose first as we're going in to the atmosphere anyway. So we sort of do it now. It's a little awkward because the solar panels aren't really going to get any power. Are you going to get the power that you're occluded? You've got some. Now I think about it, I actually want to be that way and then I want to be the opposite way up, actually. So, I don't really think it matters that much. Just so long as we've got some form of power and we can drop down let's walk to here oh something I do want to check as well let's go into our curvism settings go into uh, auto and want to go Atmosphere, solar panels turn off, space hits and back on again. Awesome, so I've got that all set up. Cool, right. I don't know if our mystery goo has been doing anything. I don't think it has. Probably a bit of a waste taking them all with us, but this wasn't for science. This was for... Uh... Leveling up the crew. I think I'm just going to point prograde, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to end up going in and just keep ourselves pointing prograde for the whole sort of journey. We could pitch up and uh, cause more drag. I'll tell you what, we'll point prograde as we're entering, and then we'll just stay pointing that way, which will probably yeah actually do you know what i think we will let's uh let's do that let's do uh radial out because we're only just grazing the atmosphere so probably want as much drag as i can possibly get on there and uh, what i want to do there we are now we're now we're at 70k uh i want to try and use all our fuel up to bring that apoapsis down now we could just do that by firing retrograde, which would be fine, but that would bring our periapsis down as well. Uh, how much fuel do we have? So I want to fire at minus 846. Type that in there, changes this to be exactly how you want it to be. Okay, um, so that's what we do. If we were to fire complete retrograde there, we would end up in an orbit like this. And we could potentially fire it all there, and that would drop us into a an orbit. But we'd have to fire we have to fire it when we're outside the atmosphere, because inside the atmosphere is a little awkward. So what I think I'll do instead is go the orbital. There it is, it's just over retrograde. So, 45 degrees there. And what that'll do is that'll slow us down and oh, and uh, keep our periapsis in the atmosphere. That's what I want to do. So, let's fire here. And uh, we can just make small adjustments. If I pitch more towards retrograde, it will bring our periapsis down. What do you want to do? I want to make sure the periapsis stays about 60k. But I don't want to drop it too low, so we end up pitching slightly off of that, and it ends up changing our periapsis to be... Um, we should start racing it again. So we get to a certain point, yeah, about there. there we go. It raises up and comes down. Really finding that happy medium.
So it's somewhere in between uh, Orbital Inn and uh, Retrograde, sort of halfway in between the two, and that's where you can keep your periapsis exactly at the correct height it is, um, but bring down your apoapsis. Um, it's a little tricky to do, it does depend on a few other factors, but you can see what I'm doing here. You see I've got the marker here, so I'm a little bit more re uh, retrograde. And there's the blue marker for the orbital in. And uh, my periapsis is dropping, so I don't want to do that. I want to pitch up a bit to go more retrograde, and that should bring my periapsis up. In fact, let's just fire. Oh no, so, sorry, we want to go radial in, don't we? That's how we do that. Yeah, that should bring the periapsis up. There we go. I want to pitch completely radial in now because I've just realised my preps is way too low and we're almost out of fuel. 61, that's good. That's good. Okay, so we're going to come around and go in there. Uh, from this height, I could probably dip further into the atmosphere. It wouldn't really be a problem, um, but I don't want to risk anything. Uh, if it was a probe, I probably would. Probably just uh, you know, dip a little bit further in. in if it had a heat shield as well, I think I definitely would. That would be a... A thing to do right so let's go around again and uh, see what we're going to end up with hopefully we'll get caught this time I think we could probably get away with pretty much just pointing your radio out Let's be honest with you. Let's just point radial out and get all that wing mass uh, slowing us down. More drag on the ship in the atmosphere will uh, bring our apoapsis down even further. And uh, we're not dipping said that far into the atmosphere, so I don't really think we've got to worry too much about. Uh, want uh, that? Oh, that one. There we go. I want to see the pitch part. Okay, so we're taking a fair bit off, are perhaps? But it's going to be a couple of go rounds before we end up actually getting captured. So I shall go round and round and round, and uh, we'll come back once we've uh, been captured by Kerbal, or Kerbin, sorry. Right, so our apoapsis is now 96 kilometers, which means we should pretty much get captured next time around. Um, like now. So we're going to go and put ourselves radial out again. I might do it orbital surface is per perpendicular to the planet so um, if you go orbital uh, radial out when you're on surface mode your nose will be pointing directly away from the planet orbital mode depends on how your orbit is um, if your orbit is uh, elongated on one side then orbital might point over Instead of that way, it'll point that way. Uh, so it's uh, a little bit past there. I'm not sure why. I think that's, that's trying to drag our nose down. Not really sure. Not really sure. Doesn't particularly matter here that much. That's a little bit over, so our nose is actually down a little bit. Very difficult to see, but. Uh, Surface mode, the craft stands up more. And in orbital mode, you'll see the nose will lean forward. Tiny bit. Tiny bit. But we should be captured here, and we should be landing at night time. And uh, we might even be able to get to the KSC, which might be interesting. I'm not really sure. Um, I've turned on my uh, science markers there. Um, so, well, one, I can see where the KSC is, because I know they're there. Um, and two, I've changed a couple of probes like the Duna scanner to be 
uh, a science device rather than a uh, probe or relay uh, because I think it was a relay so it wasn't showing up on the map so I've now turned on yeah. I'll change it to be a science one basically that was the whole reason for that uh, and yeah we're definitely going to get captured this go round awesome awesome In fact, I'm going to point us prograde because uh, we're coming in. We're going to dip down to 40k, and that's a bit deep at 2,000 meters a second. A little worried about that. I don't particularly want to tear anything important off of the craft. Uh, I haven't got any hidden fuel anywhere, have I? No, I haven't. Got loads of monopropellant we could use that to help stabilize the vessel if we turn our reaction control on oh the cockpit is getting a little bit warm but uh, i point point to prograde back there and um, because i then told it to hold stability obviously the nose is pulling away from the planet because Flat in Kerbal Space Program is quite literally a flat straight line, um, whereas in real life, flat for a plane is based off the uh, uh, sea level. Hopefully, this will be okay. Um, we are losing speed, which is good. That's exactly what we want. We are definitely captured. Our vertical speed is increasing, which is a little worrying. Normally that, that drops and you end up getting some lift from the wings. Maybe we're just too we're pitched up too high, I don't know. But I'd rather lose some horizontal speed. Because it's a bit uh We're going a bit quick. Oh, do we want to have one of present? Yep, we've used up all our monitor planet. And now we're just completely relying on the wings. Right, let's turn off... Uh Oh, we lost that probe in the front. I think we lost that last time as well. Uh, I think I'm going to turn on pitch control for you as well. And... Ah, I got that wrong. That should be pitch. That's why this craft isn't working the way it should be. This front one should be pitch. And you should definitely have a much higher authority. I don't particularly want to be turning the craft. I want to stay nice and flat. And I'm just pitching up as hard as I possibly can. We appear to be turning automatically. I think we are going to go for a water landing here. Uh, whoa. Oh, okay. Okay. Looks like we actually got a decent capture on the air. Yeah, I think we've, we've ended up in the, the thick atmosphere. Uh, let's just go with some flat travel for the moment and see whether we can make it over to here uh, landing in the ocean is an option we can do that but land is better easier and uh, I think we only have lost that probe on the front so that is no longer attached to our craft we just lost a probe like we did last time it needs to be the victim every single time could be a potential problem if we try and bring these in remotely. So, uh, might have to work on that. But we kind of have to use this docking port because that's all we have on the station. Right. Now, 
I don't know if we can glide that far. I don't think we can, if I'm honest with you. I think it's going to be too far. So we might have to ditch it in the ocean, but that, that's fine. That, that doesn't really make a difference to us. This will land in the ocean. I just have to do it very gently. No, the solar panels are still on this way as well. That's cool. That's good. Right, let's turn SES off. And uh, what we'll do is I shall change these deployed to be, say, 10 degrees and deploy them. And that will just bring our nose up a bit. Ooh, maybe we need to do that more. Yeah. Let's see here. The uh, number is going down slowly, so we are pitching up. We get into the thicker of the atmosphere as well. There we go. There we go. The nose is now pitching up. That's good. All right. I didn't want to be very high and then have our our speed drop because you plummet out of the ground, uh, plummet towards the ground very, very quickly. I'd much rather. Um, Get a decent glide angle. We are veering off to one side a little bit. And uh, if you can do it with that SES as well, it's really good. You can just change the deploy angle on one of your your wings. Uh, making sure this number up here is uh, constantly going down, uh, or going up in this case, because we want to slow down. But we don't want to hit the ground. We don't want to hit the, hit the water like this. This would be very, very bad for us. But I want to keep coming in at a decent angle and sort of pitch up at almost the last moment. Try and get ourselves a bit flatter here. 15 degrees. But we're still going way too fast. Right, 20. Oh, we are actually going up in the air now. Pitch up, pitch up. Pitch up, pitch up hard. And down. And we lost nothing. Awesome. Awesome. Well, we lost the nose cone. That was it. So there we go. We've had a, a water landing. How far were we? We were miles away. Yeah, we'd never have ever glid that far. Awesome. Okay, so let's recover these kerbals and uh, hopefully we can get at least Valentino at level 3. That was the uh, the plan. Yeah, okay, so we got 12 credits for science for... Uh, Oh, getting some telemetry while flying high over things. Cool. Temperature scan. Awesome. Okay. Uh, next, we got a bit of money back. That's fine. It wasn't really for money. But here we go. Okay. Valentina has advanced to level 3. Awesome. We have a scientist at level 3 now. Uh, we have two more scientists at level 3 and some at level 2. Awesome. Awesome. That means we can take our science plane back out and try and get that wing science. Right, so with this whole system set up and going on, we now obviously Valentina has the ability to point at um, maneuver nodes, which is excellent. That's going to be very, very useful. <coughs> And I think, oh no, this, this does need a little tiny bit of trim just to keep up into the air. Uh, it also pulls off to one side. Don't know why that is. Weird Kerbal physics. Uh, but we need to get up high because our cloud, which is currently stopped, it's, 
uh, needs to be a uh, pilot level 3 and also needs to be flying high over biomes. So I think I'm going to try and flatten the craft out a bit and uh, we'll just try and go up normally try and get some speed up and then we can switch engine modes and uh, well I don't know let's just do that I'm not sure what constitutes flying high Now this is obviously the new turbine, I'm not sure what quite is going on here, it, something weird is going on with the textures there, because it did look a lot better than that, and now it doesn't, uh, might be something messing with it, don't know, uh, this is also I think 191 just came out, so I've upgraded to that by mistake. Um, because uh, as I mentioned in the previous video I've uh, had issues with Kerbal Space Program just being weird and uh, for some bizarre reason if I leave the game in my Steam folder and run it it all seems to work whereas if I copy it out of my Steam folder it doesn't and I don't know why so I'm just going to leave it in there and um, yeah I've turned off updates on it so it won't automatically update but uh Unfortunately, there was an update, and I just clicked the button without thinking about it, and uh, it was like, oh god, I hope all these mods still work. And they do, and they do, which is good. Yeah. So are we looking at 15 kilometers? Is that what we need for cloud? Very annoying this craft is leaning over to the right. I'm not sure why it does that. Leaning over to the left, even. It's very difficult to correct as well because if I just set it as two on the roll, it still rolls to the left. If you set it by three, it then rolls to the right. I, th I think if you just use one or two on the the PC or like picture markers here, it doesn't actually make any difference to the graph at all. Right, I'm starting to think we need to just pitch up quite hard. We just need to go up in the air. Come on. Up, 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 up. No, up. There. Back. Because I need to find out. Ah, there we go. Right. So this is what we need. We need flight at this sort of level. Okay. And then we drop below 18k. Okay, so so it's 18k. Right, so this is going to struggle, this plane. It's going to struggle to get up to that sort of height. But uh, I think I will give it a go. We can do some up and downs, up and downs, and fly around to get things going. And uh, we'll get that science. And then uh, everything will be awesome. I think we're currently over biomes, aren't we? We're over. Yeah. It would be nice to be able to just turn off the SAS, put the pitch up to say like 10 and have it do dive bombs on its own, but I know it will lean to the left all on its own and uh, then eventually just flip over and do weird things. I don't know why it does it. See here, if I speed up time, it just pitches right over to the left. See? And uh, if I put on just say 3 roll to the right, it then ends up, no, it still pitches to the left. How bizarre. Time warp does very strange things. Yeah, time warp does very strange things. 
But this is called Kerbal Space Program, not Kerbal Flight Simulator. So, yeah. But anyway, um, I shall fly around and do a couple of things and try and figure out a few ways of actually getting this to fly nicely for me. And uh, we will come back next episode when hopefully I've got all this science. Right, fuel. So yeah, we'll come and glide this one in here and uh, and yeah, and I shall fly around and do things. Ah, I feel. Oh, we were too high. And uh, yeah. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope to see you again next time. Until then, as always. Have fun.